up, Evil Street Shark fam? Today I'm excited. The weather is actually says 60 degrees, but it's actually warm outside. And I freaking left work late, which is, it is what it is. It sucks. But it's actually supposed to be warm for the next like two to three days, like 50s, 57, 60. So time to make some stuff happen. Today I'm gonna try to fix the demon eyes and see what's going on with that, with whatever daylight is left. And I'm gonna go home right now and upload the vlog. I was late with the vlog. I added some new stuff to the vlog so you guys will definitely get to see. So that's what I've been doing. Lately, for the last couple of days, for the beginning of the year, I've been working on different edits. I've been planning out what I wanna do this year to definitely hit 100K and grinding out. Looking at some possible sponsorships. So that's a freaking plus that is a plus so i've been working on all of this stuff and the weather has been crap it's been snowing a bunch of other crap at work but now time to get it with these daily uploads time to make it happen got a lot of stuff planned parts are going to be on the way so definitely be look out for that let's go home because barely have any more daylight left but i definitely want to see what's wrong with these demon eyes and the weather is freaking perfect like i just showed you 60 degrees ridiculous let's get it Damn, guys. Nine minutes until, eight minutes until it gets dark. And now I'm about to get to the SI. So let me show you guys the problem that I'm having with the SI. So if you guys are new to the channel and don't know, this is my SI with this front lip, side skirts, rear lip wing and of course if you guys probably already know bags you already know follow your boy at evil street shark so the dm i have this car with the headlights there are there are retrofitted headlights as you guys can see let me get on this angle this might be a better angle as you guys can see they're blacked out retrofitted headlights they're not stock so they have like this nice blacked out look in the headlights and it looks mean and inside of it, they have a RGB connected to it. And let me turn on the Bluetooth. When you turn on, when you go to the app, there's an app for the RGB because it's the demonizer hooked up to a Bluetooth controller. And you download the app, you get to the app, and you press the button to turn on, and the lights come on, as you guys can see. But the problem that I'm having is green works blue works and then you get to the purple and it's blue and purple and you get to the red only one side of the red works so i'm trying to figure out what's going on right there i don't know if it's a connection issue so that's what we're going to try to find out today so right now i'm going to turn them off and let's see And then if you guys are wondering what hood this is, this is the carbon fiber RR Vis Racing Hood. I'm going to pop the trunk right here. And as you can see, it says Vis Racing. And that's the number of the hood. Pretty dope, pretty dope. This is my engine bay. Definitely got to clean it up from all the salt and dust and all the crap from this winter. The weather is getting better for the next three days, so hopefully it stays that way. So... This is the engine bay. And then on the side right here, that white thing, the white box is the Bluetooth controller. So, and these are all the connections to it. So let's jump right into it. So, so if you guys are wondering what it looks like, this is how the Bluetooth controller looks like. It looks like this. Let me uh, plug it out. So let me plug it out. So I'm gonna disconnect it. So it's disconnected. And then they have cords that go to the battery. And so the controller looks like this, guys. Let me try to zoom in. It looks like this, LED controller, Bluetooth. And I just keep it right next to the battery. So right now I'm gonna see if maybe it's just the connection, so. And if you guys look in the battery, right, 
One side is for the power source that plugs into right here, that turns them on. And then the other side is for these colors right here. And there is blue, green, red, and black. So these are all the four colors that connect to the RGB controller. So my guess is one of these are not getting a good connection somewhere. So what I gotta do is get a flathead, as you guys can see. And if I unscrew it, these connections will come out. If I screw it back on, the connections will go back in and hold inside of this. So I'm gonna do that first and see. All right, I'm gonna try my best because it's kind of a tight space, but I'm I got me a flathead and I'm basically gonna unscrew these and screw these back in. So. So I'm gonna take it out. Make sure the connection and ground is, ever, so I'm gonna do the black. So right now I'm doing the black to make sure it's pretty good and secure. And the black was loose, honestly. Be honest with you guys, the black was loose. And we're gonna do the red. The red and the blue seems like the problem. So we're gonna unscrew all of them and then put the colors back in and then test. So that's what we're gonna do. I'll screw this, screw this. I know it's kind of hard for you guys to see. Let me zoom in a bit. So this is basically the controller and you got the colors right there. You stick the colors right here and on the controller it has the colors. So pretty easy, straightforward. Match the colors and put them in. So all of them are in there tight. All of them are in there pretty tight. And then to get power, I gotta plug this back in. So I'm gonna plug it in. Because, uh, as you guys can see, the lights are on. My battery is dying on the camera. So hopefully this is it. <laughs> So we're going to connect back to it. So blue, the red is still not working. So I got to figure out why the, why the red is not working. So the blue is working as you guys can see, but the red is still not working for the, for this side. So I got to check the connection of what's going on over here. I have no idea. So. I'm gonna mess with it some more and see what's up guys so I've been out here messing with this in the rain for a minute now and I just think it may be the controller like water like the hood is open so water is gonna touch on it so I just think it's possibly the Bluetooth controller right here the white controller that has all the colors in it demon eyes right there in this corner because of course one runs all the way to the side to the other hair light, but then most of the stuff is gonna be, the wiring is gonna be over here in this corner right here. So, um, yeah, I think it's possibly the controller. And then I could choose blue, as you guys can see, but you get to purple, one is a purple, one is blue, which is the red, and you get to red, and then only one side of the red works, this side does not work. You get to green, it's green and yellow. Once you get to green, green and green works. Scion, scion blue works. Dark blue, dark blue works. So I don't know, it's kind of weird. So I think it's like only this side of when you spin it has an issue, but I don't know. Only this, it's like half of it, this side is the only part that has the issue, but the rest of everything else, there's no problem like white, I guess white is an issue. One is white, 
one is like a blue so i guess that is an issue too so i'm hoping maybe it's just the controller so i don't know i may see if i can find a controller or when i have time i will have to take all these out take the battery out mess with the wiring see if this is the wiring which i already messed with the wiring so if you guys can see on that there's an arrows pointing to which way to, to install it and then the other one is right here and i actually took that out and plug it out plugged it in but the issue still persists and i took the colors out of that like i showed you in the vlog the green red and blue and the black wire and i was messing with that and make sure it had a secure connection but it still does not work so my guess is either something wrong with the controller itself so uh we could go inside i'll take you guys inside and see if i can go back on the website where i ordered these from and see if i can find the same controller they haven't been leaking lately now from the times i've been driving it it has to be like i don't know it's got to be like really humid or i don't know it's weird it rarely leaks though it rarely leaks so i don't know but anyway these headlights has to be done some of the paint inside the housing has come off for just a little bit so it has to be redone anyway so i guess that's what i get for you know my saying do it right the first time especially with this build it's kind of dark i know you guys can barely see see me but my build with uh doing it right the first time and i did kind of cheap out with these um these are actually ebay headlights and then the retrofitted housing and everything more than likely i'll probably go oem next time because in my opinion the fitment from the ebay headlights could be better so yeah let me go outside and talk to you guys because out here i don't know man i feel like i'm about to get robbed the boy about to get robbed out here and it's raining and it's actually 60 degrees today guys it's actually 60 degrees on a friday january 12th it's 60 degrees outside so it feels good out here it's not that chilly out here it feels perfect all right so like i was saying about the rgb bluetooth controller what do you guys think do you guys think it's the rgb control the wireless controller or do you guys think it's the rgb um demonizers collected to the headlight housing um it's kind of hard to say which is which because it could be either or because like you guys saw in the video spend the money right spend the money on this to get a new controller then find out is not the controller or basically just go ahead and get a new set because i went on the um led concepts websites where i originally bought the demon eyes and these are it right here and these are the brackets that fit the mini h1 headlights so the retrofitted headlights for the honda civic aside the 8 gen that i have and let me see if i found the link for it so this is the retrofit source and then i found another link so these are the box xenon marimata mini stage 3 project retrofitted headlights so these are what i have on the car and look at the price killer right <clears throat> i believe when i bought mines from a website there were 180 i believe but <clears throat> these are not even in demand a lot now because a lot of new cars have uh basically retrofitted high housings now especially like even the new si's type r all cars come with these headlights now so it's going to be hard to find these now especially with the demand being low so the prices are going to be high so i will also post this uh link in the description because i believe this is the cheapest price that i saw i think the highest the next price is 270 280 for the retrofitted for these mini h1 retrofitted headlights so this is it and then of course you get to pick your shrouds and then you can google what shrouds you want the ones that i have is the e46 r it's these ones right here and those are the shrouds that i have but yeah i'll post that in the description for you guys if you guys want to check it out but yeah i found the ones on the led concept websites it was like it was hard to find but these are the ones i have so these are the ones that will fit with the mini h1 bracket as you guys see right here it says it's kind of hard to see but this is uh two brackets for the mini h1 standard but these are the ones that i have so to be able to 
replace these I will have to reopen back the headlights and take these out and buy these which I believe they are uh, if I buy with the driver Colin Morf, RGB Wallace, Demon Eye with driver which you still gotta pay for the driver um, and then the controller uh, the driver is I guess this little thing inside of it but the controller which it doesn't have the same controller now so the newer ones uh, so they don't make the same controller that I saw on eBay like I just showed you guys they don't have this controller anymore now they have two controllers so they have whoops I'm all over the place there we go so now they have a controller called the Morimoto one and then the prism pilot so they have two wireless controllers now and then you guys see the price difference the Morimoto's are the top of the line ones that they have out now and then the prism is their older one that they have so they don't even sell the driver that I have so and then these the prism profile which the which it doesn't make any sense because the Morimoto use, uses this kind of like the same thing as the prism so and a Morimoto it still uses the same app so it's like either or but I believe the connection to control to connect the headlight and the demon eye is more secure for if you get the Morimoto, which is seventy dollars more. So if you get that plus the connectors, the male to female four pins, you're looking at a hundred and ten dollars. A hundred and ten dollars. And I believe that's I think I spent a little bit more. I think I spent one twenty when I got mine, but yeah, it's about for the demise is about one hundred and ten. But yeah, so it's either any which way. So it's kind of like I have to get new headlights anyway. I have to get new mini H ones. I have to get new mini eight. Well, I could reuse the ones. Yeah, I could reuse the the Morimoto ones, but more than likely. It's probably it's either or. you could reuse the other ones the ones that's already in my headlights or you can use new ones but then of course you got to open those ones back up and put new ones in or I could sell the old ones it's either or either or so I could either sell the old ones or just buy a whole new everything either or so it really depends on what I want to do but of course I got to get new headlights that's a must got to get new headlights if I decide to keep the mini H ones or buy new ones, um, and if I do keep the ones that I originally have, then I have to buy new shrouds because the shrouds are messed up and then I got to buy headlights. So then I'll just have to buy new shrouds, which the shrouds, if you guys know what I'm talking about is the cover that goes around it and they got different types of shrouds. So I'll either have to buy new shrouds, keep the same mini H ones headlights, that I already have in the car and get new headlights. So new headlights, um, reuse the mini H ones and get new shrouds and uh, paint the new headlight housing. So it depends of how much I guess I want to spend or if I just want to get new ones or I could just get new everything, resell the old ones if anyone wants to buy them. That's another offer too. Uh, that's a well another opportunity too if I decide to do that but this one i believe has the same one so the prisms are these ones right here which is kind of weird that they offer both but i'm guessing these are not wireless because it, it doesn't have the w but in the picture it does which is kind of weird but it doesn't say wireless like the other one like over here if you go back to the other one it will get you the option of color morph demon eye W with driver and then it has color morph RGB wireless demon eye and then the other one is not wireless so that is kind of weird but then it lets you select the controller which is wireless which is confusing but I guess either or so that is weird so you can actually keep the color morph one or you can go with the prism which 
I don't know. It is confusing. I guess you have to look at the prices. So if I were to say none, none, this will actually be $35. And this one is actually $50. But let me take this off. So it will actually be $45. So I guess it depends on the pricing or whatever. But this one actually lets you pick the bracket size. So I don't know. It is confusing. So if I were to go with that one, it's actually going to be, and the bracket that I want is the mini H1. The mini H1 bracket is this one in the picture right here. So this is the bracket. So it's either or. So now this one is 120. The other one would have been, even if I decide to go with the Morimoto one and then the second adapter, the color morph one is cheaper what's up guys these guys think i should just go with the driver which is about what 22 dollars and see if maybe that is the issue but then it's kind of hard to tell if it's the driver or the rgb ex itself in the headlight let me know in the comment box below it is kind of hard to tell because the red is not even coming on at all but then if you go to the other colors it's showing a flip-flop of two different colors so it's kind of hard to really determine what is the issue it could be both things it could be the driver and the rgb uh control uh rgb in the housing also so it could be either or and also which one do you guys think i should go with should i go with the the demon eyes of the prison prism or should i go back with the the color morph one that i originally had so either or will work they both have the mini h1 bracket the same bracket i just showed you guys so i believe either or will work and i was looking at one thing uh, about the marimoto xbt bluetooth controller is that compared to the color morph um it's just four little prongs and it sticks in and it's not really no connection because they can like if they wiggle a little bit they can fall out but the marimoto is actually they have four prongs but it's clipped in so it's more harder for it to fall off or any residue or stuff getting inside of it because inside the color morph ones that i do have uh there's a lot of residue and and rust and all the stuff from i guess condensation the weather or whatever so one thing about the morimoto xbt bluetooth controller is that the connection is more firm and it's actually a clip and it's like a housing that covers anything uh, water from getting us out of it so there's a lot of stuff to consider if i do get the driver i mean the not the driver the bluetooth controller went bad or it could be the rgb itself but if i do buy a new bluetooth controller and that's not the problem then i guess i still could buy the color morph um demonize alone and then buy the rest of the stuff for the headlight to redo the headlight so let me know in the comment box below and i showed you guys the price difference is a what ten dollar difference i believe so let me know in the comment box below what you guys think i should do if it's a good idea or not let me know i know it kind of sucks that this was to happen all of this started happening when the cold weather came but it is what it is especially with electronics and stuff with a winter time everything is really bad especially with the engine and stuff and anything with electric in the winter time cold and then trying to run it it is hard on electronics and it sucks it is what it is i guess that's what you got to deal with with living in the cold but things do happen it is what it is but that's it for the video definitely guys smash the like button and also if you're new to the channel subscribe because as you guys see more <laughs> more mods are going to be on the way i definitely got to redo my headlights um for this car that's what i have planned i definitely wanted to redo the headlights and a lot of people has been asking me about the headlights if i could do a an install of retrofitting the headlights with the demonized and then a lot of people want to see bag installs which we have bags here for another car that we're going to be installing it on I'm not going to tell you guys yet, but it's the same kit that I have, the 3H with the high sensor. So a video will be coming this spring or summer. We will see. But so there's going to be new headlights for 
my car. It's gonna be the same exact way I have the headlights. It's just gonna be with the demon eyes, so basically restoring the headlights. Everyone, especially me, I love the look, and everyone loves the look, so definitely I'm gonna keep that same blocked out evil look for sure. And then I believe my dad for his car, which I'm not gonna tell you, which some of you guys I believe know the car already, but I'm not gonna say, which he also bought demon eyes for his car, so that's gonna be really dope and that's going to be a nice project so this year is going to be probably more of his car and kind of my car so that's going to be dope this year so that's a lot of stuff to be looking forward to so definitely you guys let me know what also what let me know what other videos you guys want to see so it's it's going to be this year is going to be another crazy year it, it's going to be another crazy year it is what it is what do you expect so i'm excited to see what to come it's just putting everything in plan of what you want to do and basically just executing the plan and making it happen so i'm gonna do some more research but i definitely want to hear you guys opinions on what you guys think i should go what route i should take and let me know so definitely that's it for the video if there's anything that you guys want to achieve if there is a goal that you have set on your mind, find your inner drive and go after it every single day. Peace. Shout out to the Evil Street Strike fam. Definitely smash the subscribe button on the left here and also hit the notification bell to be notified of new videos. Click the link right here below of the latest video that's out right now.